Welcome to day six of the December challenge where every day, all month long, we're talking about sinistry on this channel only, okay? Today we're talking about moon in the seventh house sinistry overlay. If you haven't watched any of the other videos, go ahead and check your crushes or your partner's charts, see where the moon falls where your moon falls in his charts, her charts, where their moon falls in your charts. And then come back and see if the video is already posted. If it has not been posted, request it in the comments below. Or if you have any questions about Sinistry at all, put it in the comments. I'm going to be answering all Sinistry questions all December long, okay? We're going to jump straight into this one. Moon in the seventh house, Sinistry overlay. We're still starting with the ones I've experienced, so I have also experienced Moon in the seventh house, sinister overlay, and it's definitely giving like you see the other person as wifey material, hubby material. Immediately, once you guys start to interact, you can almost see the qualities in each other that you can feel like this is someone that I could spend the rest of my life with. And it's not necessarily that you guys have like a lot of things in common or you're necessarily from the same place, but there's something about each other's actions and the way that you guys complement each other. This is one where as the moon person you can definitely start to daydream about white picket fence and all that. <laughs> With the moon in the seventh house industry overlay you guys might have a lot of conversations about what a relationship means to each other, what you would like to see in a relationship. You guys might even start to talk about like how many kids you guys each want very early on like you're not scared of these topics about living together long term building a future together long term like i said in moon in the first house this is not an automatic like you're if you have this sinistry overlay that you guys are gonna be in a relationship or it's gonna last forever you know there are no guarantees in life except death so we have to become comfortable with change. But when you have this overlay with someone, you guys are kind of like the two people that kind of go off and do your own thing. You're not really into the group crowd thing, but you're not necessarily like a private couple or one that prefers to do things indoors. I think probably the best way to describe that relationship is whatever decisions you guys are making together, it's always for the betterment of your future together even though the seventh house does represent your one-on-one -on -one relationships this aspect may not be as spicy as some of the other ones that we've talked about but there is a learning that you guys can gain from one another in the sense of you show each other how you want to show up in the world as an individual. You give each other an example to kind of play off of. Either that or the more time that you spend around this person, the more you start to realize that they are the complete opposite of who you want to be with or who you want to be when you're with someone. So this one can bring a lot of realizations and learning for you as an individual, whether you're the moon person or the house person, about how you want to form relationships moving forward in your life. Last thing I'll probably say about this one, this is an overlay that you have to be very careful when you're mixing business and pleasure. I mean, in, with any overlay, <laughs> with any people, my advice to everyone is to always kind of like keep those worlds separate unless kind of like that's where you met or you're in the same field. Because it's sometimes very hard to be your relationship person while always being a business person. Sometimes the qualities that you need to be a person of business within this society is very different from the persona that you want to lead in your romantic environment. But of course anything can work if you want it to work. So just use discernment on that. Overall know that if you guys do decide to be together, know that the other person is someone that always, like you, has the relationship first in their mind, prioritized as the first thing that's of utmost importance. So it's like the ultimate commitment, which is maybe not sexy, but very safe, <laughs> which is sometimes sexy. But that's all I'm going to say for that. Subscribe to my blog, y'all. I'm coming out with a Gemini full moon horoscopes tonight. 
tonight might mean like 2 a.m 3 a.m <laughs> but they're gonna be out before the gemini full moon happens tomorrow subscribe so you don't miss your horoscope okay this is a fun powerful energy that's about to happen so lock in and i'll catch you at the next one <laughs>